Hey, welcome to the video. Today we're just going to quickly go over how to create mean and sum scores for questionnaires. So questionnaires obviously comprised of individual items or questions, and we don't typically perform analyses on those individual items, but we perform analyses on um, a person's total score for all of those items or their mean score for all of those items. So we're just going to take a quick look at how to create the sum scores or mean scores based on questionnaires. Uh, so for this example, we're going to be looking at the a brief fear of negative evaluation scale and we're just going to focus on the first five questions of the scale. So I've already entered um, the information about these variables into SPSS and I've also entered the data related to those items into SPSS. Um, I've created a video about how I created this file including how I identified missing cases, how I identified invalid cases, how I did reverse scoring. So if you're interested in that, I'll put a link to that above. But in this video, we're just going to cover how to create mean scores and sum scores based on those five items from that questionnaire. Uh, so it's quite easy to do. So I'm just going to go up to transform first, and then going to go to compute variable. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a mean for each participant based on their responses to these five questions. And to do this, I'm just going to enter the word mean in capsules into this numeric expression bit. I'm going to open brackets. And these are the five items I want to create the, uh, the mean for. So I'm going to transfer the first one over. So that's called item one. I'm just going to enter a, a comma. I'll transfer the second one. Then transfer a comp, then make a comma. Third one, comma. Fourth one, comma. Fifth one, close brackets. And I'll just give the variable a name, so we'll just call it mean, and then I'll go to OK. OK, so now if we look at our data file, we can see that a, a column has been created, and this is based on the mean responses. So 4.40 is the mean of all of these five values here. So you could then use that that variable, the mean variable, to uh, complete analyses. Some questionnaires, instead, are based, rather than on the mean, they're based on sum scores. So what you'd have to do to determine which is perhaps take a look at the articles that have already used the questionnaire that you're using and see what past researchers have done. Um, so if we take a look at how to create the mean score, it's the same thing. So transform, compute variable. Uh, this time, I'm just going to enter sum instead, instead of mean. And I'll, I'll call this variable sum. So it's the same process. If you started, if you, so all of this is still here because we already did this process for the mean, but the process is exactly the same. So I've just entered sum here and sum here. You can call the variable whatever you want. Then I'll go to OK. And now we can just see that we have sum scores in addition to mean scores. So 22 is the sum of these five values here. Okay, hope that helps. Um, if you have any questions about anything, let me know in the comments and I will get back to you. And thanks a lot for watching.